And today I will explain about the uh, procedure of uh, retrofitting construction in Padang Pariaman. So in addition, so this is like my message for the uh, retrofitting. So uh, as you know, like uh, worldwide, uh, many people killed by earthquake, but it's not um, it's not uh, by earthquake. Um, it's killed by uh, collapse of buildings. So uh, there, uh, mostly no engineered construction. Then, so if we take situation in Indonesia, we can find many uh, non-engineered structure, like in rural site, and then even in, in the town also we can find many non-engineered non construction. Then, uh, I think um, dissemination of uh, retrofitting is one of the key of uh, uh, one of the key of uh, for the reducing loss of life for the of people. So um, through uh, this project, uh, I hope uh, people uh, understand first uh, like a vulnerability of their house, and then uh, people uh, understand like uh, effectiveness uh, retrofitting. Okay, uh, so. Uh, Anyway, okay, today I will explain about the uh, procedure of uh, Padang Pariyama project. Okay. I will introduce about uh, that retrofitting process on the house in Padang Pariyama through Mason train. And this is for the dissemination to the people. And then, uh, retrofitting of existing, existing buildings. Retrofitting as strengthening is an improvement over the original strength that is affected by their original structure in the frequency. Then, uh, so such as material deterioration due to time, uh, such as damaged structural element by a stick, uh, and include built on improper construction. And the uh, retrofitting and strengthening procedures aim to the uh, following object, uh, increasing the lateral strength in the one or more direction by the reinforcement or by increasing wall area or the number of walls and columns. Um, and uh, giving unity to the structure by providing proper connection between its uh, resisting elements. Typical important uh, aspects are connection between wall and foundation and between intersecting walls. So this uh, giving unity like uh, become uh, like a uniform like between uh, main elements like a wall to wall and the wall to foundation is very important and avoiding the uh, possibility of brittle, mo uh, brittle, mo brittle mode of failure pattern. Yeah, so this is, uh, three topic is very important for the lay uh, lay uh, retrofitting. Okay, and then, um, as you know, this uh, model house in Padang Pariyama is, this is uh, like a location of uh, model house. So here is, uh, Padang uh, Airport is here, and the model uh, house is here, so uh, it takes uh, 15 minutes by car. So Padang Pariyaman, uh, Barang Anari, and then Nagari is Sangai Rura. Yeah. So this is a uh, house of, uh, for retrofitting project. So this is uh, constructed uh, at uh, 1991, so it means um, there were uh, two uh, big earthquakes, 2007 and then 2009. But uh, this house uh, has like a no, uh, no damage by earthquake, and the occupancy is two people, two get uh, two grandparents and then two parents, two aunt, two children. So this is uh, like uh, that model house. So structure method is confined masonry by half brick layer, and then uh, constructed by like uh, no engineer, no engineer construction. So this is the plan. So the biggest wall is that span is around 4.3 meter, and then uh, shorter one is 
uh, another direction is 3.3. Then this is height of model house. Uh, there, mm, prince beam, and then uh, there, uh, like a lintel beam. That height is 2.6. Then there, uh, gable wall. So this is um, area of confinement walls. So this uh, red part is more than nine square meter. So it means um, anyway, uh, like a confinement area should be less than nine square meter by key requirement. So it means um, most walls is not following key requirement. Then. Uh, so this house, uh, the gable wall is just on the front side. There are no gable beam. There are no crown in the gable wall. And then uh, gable wall has supported wall on the center. And uh, this uh, house highest part is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, this uh, gable wall highest part is 2.7 meter from RC beam. And then there are uh, roof wooden truss is set back from brick walls. So this uh, front uh, wooden truss is set back from one meter. Ah, from brick wall from uh, from brick wall one meter. And uh, yeah, there uh, concrete beam, but beam was set to different level. And the most wall doesn't have beam on top. There are freestanding brick masonry wall on lintel beam. And some openings are fixed later. There are a huge gap like this. And um, this is a prince beam, like a prince beam, like a foundation level. This house has prince beam. Concrete, I think, uh, concrete condition is not bad. But uh, this uh, soil condition of site is very soft. We uh, try to insert steel bar, uh, 10, uh, 10 millimeter steel bar, and then until 6 meter we can insert. So it's very soft soil. So this is uh, our evaluation. So this building standing on soft soil, but Prince Beam looks strong, uh, looks strong enough because there are no damage on prints being by experienced too large asking. The gable wall should be strengthened. And uh, the wall and confinement elements should be uniform between brick wall and crown and beam, between inside, uh, intersecting wall and between wall and foundation. So this is a retrofitting method. So left side, this is existing building condition, and then adding uh, jacketing or uh, bandaging. So we call it jacketing, but uh, some people are calling bandaging. It's the same method. So then uh, all walls covered by wire mesh, through jacketing, through bandage. So this is uh, after jacketing. So this retrofitting method provides increasing lateral strength in both directions, especially increasing tensile strength, and uh, giving unity to the structure by providing a proper connection and avoiding the possibility of uh, brittle failure pattern uh, by this jacketing. So anyway, uh, we are following this uh, guide, guideline for retrofitting. Yeah, uh, Jaika made this uh, retrofitting. Right, right. And then um, in the field, in Padam Pariyaman, uh, we had a discussion with uh, Mr. Teddy Boon and uh, Professor Iman Satyaru, Sati Aruna from Gajamada University. And then uh, we decided uh, to retrofitting method for this field. So this is um, in the field. Um, we bought uh, some material for uh, retrofitting. So this is the left side is from that uh, guidebook, and then uh, right side is 
yeah, I took picture in the field. So wire mesh is um, galvanized weld wire mesh. Spacing is 25 millimeter, diameter is one mm diameter. And then fixing tools and mat uh, materials, drill, bending wire, nail, for temporary fixing. That nail is for temporary fixing. And for plastering, mortar ratio is one cement, three sand by volume. So wire mesh. Uh, wire mesh should be sandwiched uh, by plaster, by mortar plaster. Uh, wire mesh should be fixed in the mortar plaster to keep distance one centimeter from brick surface. And outside should be covered by mortar more than one centimeter. So this one centimeter uh, outside is uh, for the, it's uh, important for the durability. Okay, and then um, through training, uh, we started making like this uh, um, uh, fixing wire mesh. <coughs> so in the guidebook, uh, there are uh, written uh, like this method, and then we try to make it. Guideline by mortars. To make a guideline on the vertical or horizontal by mortar. This method doesn't need additional materials. For example, like uh, they don't need to buy names. But uh, our through this experience, but it uh, takes a time. So this guideline by mortar. Uh, first of all, uh, fix mold. Fix mold. This mold is like a timber mold um, for the guideline mortar. Then uh, through experience, less and land. Uh, for the full jacketing, it takes time. The timber mold should set one by one or a little by little, not uh, wall wall or wall uh, uh, fixed by uh, this mold. But, uh, I think this method is suitable for the patch of jacketing. This is a lesson to learn about this method. So um, this is uh, like uh, how to fix the wire mesh. <coughs> So uh, before uh, making guide line by mortar uh, to throw water on the brick surface for keeping bonding strength. If there are some moss, mosses, uh, it should be taken out by brush, brushing. And then next, uh, to make one cent thickness mortar guide line. Yeah, so uh, at first uh, we fixed that uh, timber mold and then uh, we put plaster. So this is like a finishing by a finishing of this guideline of uh, guideline by mortar. Mm, for the full jacketing, it takes time, and then this method, yeah, uh, I already explained. Uh, this, uh, this method suitable for the partial jacketing. So this uh, right side is partial jacketing, and then uh, left side is full jacketing. And then next, uh, this is option two, like a cubic guideline by mortar. Instead of mortar line, like uh, option one, we can use mortar cube. This function is same, just keeping distance from brick uh, surface, just one cent. And then this uh, lesson learned about this method, option two, it saves the time. But we have to make uh, we have to make clear location of through hole for the continuous uh, co uh, connection wire. So uh, this method suitable for the new construction. And then okay, next uh, option three. Uh, to use nail for keeping distance from brick surface. So this is uh, like Mr. Teddy Dun um, proposed this method uh, after uh, surveying, uh, observing field. So this is very easy and quick. And if you can buy, if you can buy nail, yeah, please try it. This is it's very easy. Just uh, putting a nail. Uh, to use nail for keeping distance from the brick surface. To fix keep distance one centimeter from brick surface using timber guide, like uh, left side photo. 
and then this nail put approximately 20 centimeter each like a uh, uh, right side photo and then uh, after fixing uh, after putting the nail so we can fix the wire mesh uh, between that uh, nail to wire mesh that bending uh, using bending wire and then okay next uh, making through hole on the brick wall the through hole is made by drawings diameter is uh, we are using 10, mili uh, 10 millimeter diameter and then uh, the hole should be more uh, yeah the uh, hole should be mortal part not brick so brick is, uh, Indonesian brick is very uh, brittle and weak, so it's better to make a uh, mortar part, joint, joint mortar. Okay, um, and then uh, making through hole on the brick wall. So can you see, um, left side, uh, this sketch. So there are two types of sketch, but um, yeah, this uh, red circle one. This one is, uh, it's okay. And then this one is following uh, guidebook. See the above sketch, right side for pitch is enough, 20 centimeter zigzag. It's better to make the chalk before the uh, making hole, like a uh, uh, left side photo. Okay, next, uh, setting wire mesh, cutting and bending. Bending with for the corner part. Uh, it's better to bend before uh, assembling for the corner and top of walls. Assembling wire mesh um, to fix by bending wire between head of nail and wire mesh. Uh, the top of wall should be covered by wire mesh. So it means like uh, become uniform by wire mesh jacketing. Okay, and uh, this uh, assembling wire mesh, uh, the purpose is to make unity wire, uh, to make unity wire mesh should be continued between foundation prince beam and walls, between wall and roof beam, like uh, this photo. So this uh, left side photo is from the prince beam, like a slope to the wall. So it means um, we have to uh, uh, show the foundation, prince beam. So it means we have to dig the floor, like a uh, right side photo. And then uh, on the top of wall, so we have to cover it on the wall. So to make unity wire mesh should be continued between Oh, yeah. yeah, so it means uh, like on the wall, we have to take out one line of roof seat or open the top of brick wall, like uh, this photo. So we took like one line of roof seat and then covered by uh, wire mesh. And the next uh, fixing concrete part like a column and beam, we have to fix on the concrete. So sometimes it's difficult to put concrete on there. In, the, in this case, uh, like a small concrete plug as above, uh, as above photo is available to use. So length is uh, usually like a 2 cm or 3 cm uh, concrete plug we can use. Uh, connecting between outside wire uh, outside wire mesh and inside wire mesh by wire so this connecting is very important to keeping uh, to keep uh, proper strength of jacket so this connecting is using wire yeah, using wire and then that size is diameter is if uh, like a two millimeter diameter is only just one but uh, if you are you Using uh, bending wire, so that using bending wire is usually uh, like a four bending wire we are using, such as above photo. 
And then next, uh, insert mortar, uh, insert a mortar grout, uh, like a cement water to connecting hole, connecting hole here. Uh, connecting holes should be filled, filled up by cement water. And then, uh, can you see this uh, photo? So we are using some water to the, uh, filling this uh, cement water. But instead of this bottle, yeah, pet bottle also, uh, we can use it. So, okay, and then finally, uh, we can make plastering. So that uh, plastering ratio is um, uh, one cement and three sand by volume. Yeah, this um, plastering is uh, same as ordinary uh, work. So this is uh, this photo is like a situation of uh, model house on 18th December 2012. So progress of construction is ex exterior wall is remaining remaining wall is uh, just front and the interior wall is almost done. And then it will be complete until 22nd of December. So this is uh, just. Um, Appendix. So area of wall for jacketing. So outside, inside, and then uh, this whole wall is around 20, uh, 250 square meter. And then this is dry list. Wire mesh one roll is like a one meter wide, and then that length is 23, 23 meter. That rolled one is about 100,000 uh, Indonesian rupiah. And then the cement is uh, around. Uh, 54,000 but in Padang Pariyam and then sand one trap is 500,000 bending wire 15,000 per kilogram wire at 2 milli dia is around 20,000 20, per kilo and then drill is uh, bought from Medan around 500 to 1 million rupiah and then uh, this is uh, like a uh, labor cost head mesh is 150 thousand per day, mason is hundred uh, thousand per day, worker is eighty thousand per day. So yeah, this is like a uh, now recent situation of uh, construction site in Adan Ariyama. Okay, so that's all. Uh, this is my presentation. So thank you for uh, attention. And then uh, yeah, so terima kasih banyak.